Hi folks, welcome back to the Soil Health Assessment video series. I'm Brian Doherty, Ag Engineering Field Specialist with Iowa State University Extension and Outreach. And we're back in beautiful Northeast Iowa here today and gonna talk about plant health. So there's a pretty direct connection between plant health and soil health. So we're gonna look at some above ground indicators of plant health and also dig a soil pit and we'll get down in and take a look at some roots See what's going on below ground as well. So before we get down in the soil pit, I just wanted to give you an overview of the spot I'm in here. So uh, it's July 17th, I'm out in a cornfield, and so you're probably wondering why this corn is a short. So this was actually a field that had uh, first crop alfalfa harvested, and then corn was no-tilled into that. So this was planted quite late, sometime early June. So not a lot of growth here yet, but you can clearly see in the row, just on the left here, definitely a height difference between the one on the right. And so first thing I think of when I see that is probably a compaction issue, but there could be other things going on there as well. So we're gonna get down in a small soil pit that I dug here and take a look at these two different rows and see what we can see going on down in the soil pit. So here's our soil pit. Um, I just dug this one by hand. It's you know about 18 inches deep. Ideally, if you're gonna do a you know a, a true soil pit, you want to get down you know three to five feet, you know, or even deeper in some cases. You know, you want to have a backhoe to dig that. But uh, pro tip number one: don't dig these by hand when it's 95 degrees. So we're gonna get down in here and take a look at some roots and see what else we can see down in this soil pit. I'm gonna start here on the left. So this is the row of corn that was noticeably shorter and more stunted. And so just taking a look at the roots here first, um, going fairly straight down, decent white color there. You don't wanna see a lot of discoloring or lesions on your roots. But when I pulled up a couple of corn plants here, looked at the root systems, you know, not a great root system on that corn plant. Another thing, I look for is, you know, it's good to see a lot of fine hairs on the roots. There's a few here, but not seeing a lot. So, you know, just from a, a soil health perspective or a plant health perspective, but these particular plants, you know, I would consider this to be pretty degraded. So if I was gonna score this, you know, this would be on the lower end. Another thing I noticed here you know, digging down into the profile a little bit. I got down about six, you know, maybe eight inches here and got down into some subsoil. Not sure how well you can see that on the camera here, but you know, definitely getting down into the subsoil here. And I'm gonna show you the other corn plant in a minute and then row over from this one. It's got noticeably deeper subsoil. And so I suspect what's going on there is uh, probably a tillage issue. And so over time, there has traditionally been a lot of tillage in this particular field. It was no-till this year, but you know, when you do that deeper tillage, you can tend to pull some of this up and mix it up into the profile. So when I see that much of a difference in topsoil depth within a three foot distance, you know, that, that makes me question whether there's some tillage issues there. So here's the row just on the other side, dug down here. So now we're down, I'd say about 10 to 11 inches before we start getting into subsoil. Again, I'm only over 30 inches from where I was before. You know, these roots look a little bit healthier so here's a kind of a representative plant, you know, much larger root mass there. So definitely, you know, a healthier plant on this side. Again, I don't see a lot of fine root hairs here either. So, you know, on a, a score, scoring this, you know, looking at plant health in relation to soil health, I'd maybe get, you know, score this in the mid range. It's not what I'd consider degraded, but it's not particularly healthy either. So here's a, just kind of a root ball and a similar plant. 
And again, what you want to see when you dig these apart, you, you'd like to see a lot of soil sticking to those roots. So as they uh, leak root exudates down into the soil, you know, in the rhizosphere, that should help stick some soil to those roots. And I see a little bit of that there. I see some more fine roots here. So this plant, definitely a little bit healthier than the one we just looked at a minute ago, but still, you know, I'd consider this in the mid range, not terribly healthy. So I mentioned earlier that this is a no-till field and one of the advantages of no-till is you maintain your old roots. And so as I was digging, I found an alfalfa root here and kind of followed that down, it broke off, but you can pick it up again down further in the profile. And so again, one of the advantages of no-till is uh, you keep these old roots in place and as that degrades, that's going to make a great macro pour for water infiltration, you know, deep down into the profile, you know, that root continues down. These alfalfa roots can go, you know, five, six, seven, eight feet deep. So they can really help with your infiltration, you know, same thing with any other crop root. So again, just one of the advantages of no-till, maintaining that old root stock, letting it degrade in place, and then creating macro pores in the soil. Other things you can look for in a soil pit, you know, is uh, earthworm activity. So I dug up several earthworms as I was digging here. You know, you can see a earthworm channel there, another one there. And so that's something else you can look at, you know, in addition to just what's going on with your crop roots. So that's it for this video on plant and root health. Um, I encourage you to go out and dig some soil pits, take a look at your own soil, see what's going on. So thanks for joining in and stay tuned for the next video in the series where we'll take a more in-depth look at soil biology.